Hi everyone, welcome you all. In my previous video, we have seen what is an array and how to work with the arrays in JavaScript. So in this video, we'll see uh, JavaScript array methods. So basically in JavaScript, array itself is a, an object. So when I say an object, which contains certain number of methods. Now we'll see what all methods are available for this array and how we can use those methods. Now let's get started. So here, I'm opening my Visual Studio Code Editor and here I'm going to create a new JavaScript file. Let's create a new JavaScript file. And here I'm giving one name. Let's say arrays methods.js. So once you created your JavaScript file, now let me just create a new array. So how to create an array? We can use let keyword. So let, I'll just create one array called fruits. And inside this, I'm just adding a few elements and they are fruit names just i'm just adding few names here so this is the just array we have created and the name of the array is fruits so the first method i'm going to show you is to join and a, a to string and join method so these are two methods are available so what are the two, these two methods will do is to string is a method which will convert an array to a string by separating the values uh, using comma so let's see how we can use this so for that, what I can do is uh, I'll say fruits is my array variable dot. We can access all the methods uh, which is automatically populating here to string. And just when I say fruits dot to string and this particular method will print the data in the array uh, as a string. So, and all the values will be separated with comma. So if you want to print the data, we can simply say console dot log fruits dot to string. Now let us execute. Let me open the terminal and here I'm executing my code. Let's say node. Uh, the name of the file is array, uh, array demo.js, arrays methods. Dot, arrays methods dot js, right? So I'll say methods.js. So now we can see this is an output we are getting. So this will return this one. So here it is printing all the array elements by separating comma. So basically the two string is a method which will convert an array to a string of comma separated array values. Now, similarly, we also have a join method. So which is also doing the same thing, but it contains certain uh, different type of options. So let me just use the same method and instead of two string, I'll say join. I'll say just join. And which is also giving the same output. Let me just execute the And once executed, you will get the same output. But here there is another option called we can specify uh, how we can separate these values. So by default, it is separating these values by using comma. So in the join method, we have a flexibility to separate these values by specifying any kind of a special character. So for example, let's say star here. So when I say star, so these values will be separated by star. Now let us execute one more time. So now we can see the values are separated by using star. So we can use either comma, star, slash, whatever a symbol you can specify here. The values will be separated with this symbol. So that is all about join. Now, apart from these two, there are a few more fun methods are available. So now we'll discuss what are those methods. The next method is pop. Pop is the next method. So what this method basically will do is the pop method will remove the last element from the array. So for example, this is my array. I want to remove the last element. I want to remove the last element. So then we can use pop method. So let's see how we can use this pop method. So for that, what we have to do is, this is my uh, fruits array, which is already defined here. I'm just redefining here. And when you re redefine the same array here, we no need to use let keyword because this fruit is already created here. Now in this particular array, I want to remove the last value, right? So last element. So for that, we can use pop. Simply we can say take fruits, which is my name of the array dot. I'll say pop. I'll say pop. So what this command will do is this particular command removes the last element, which is mango. So this element from the fruit. And one more thing is this particular method will also returns the value that is popped up. So that means whichever value it is removing and that element will be returned by this method. It is doing two jobs. It is removing this element. Also removed element will be returned. So the return value we can print it here. So to reprint the return value, what we can see is we can simply say console 
dot log and fruits dot pop. So this particular command or method will remove the last element and also it will print the removed element. So that is the functionality of pop. So let's see how it is going to work. When I run this, you can see it is mango. So this particular method is return the last element. So not only return, it is also remove that element. So to see that, again, print the whole array, then you can see whether this is remove that element or not. I'll say console.log. Now I'm printing the whole array and which should display all the elements. So here pop is already removed that last element. So it should print only first three elements. So see, let's say execute one more time. So here I'll say array methods.js. Now we can see, so mango is removed here. And what are the three elements left? Only three elements we have. So this is printing three elements. So this is the output of this statement. So pop is a method by which we can remove the last element from the array. So that is the usage of pop. Now, apart from this, we also have one more method called push. Push is another method. So push. So the push method basically adds a new element to the array at the end. So suppose I already have few elements. Let us create again here. So this is array contains the four elements. Now I'm going to add a new element at the end of this array. So then we can use push. So push is a method by which we can add a new element to the, uh, to the array at the end. So let's see how we can add this. So to add the new element to this array, we can use push method, right? So what is the syntax of push method is simply we can say array name dot, I can say push. And here, whichever the element we want to add that we have to specify in the bracket. So in the double quotations, I can simply say kiwi. I'm going to add this element at the end of the array. So this particular method is going to add this element at the end of the array. There's a one action it is performed. And at the same time, this particular method will return the length of a new array. Suppose currently the length of this array is a four. And what this method will do is, it, this method will add this new element to this existing array. Then the length of the array will become five. And that five will be written by this command. So it is also doing the two tasks or two actions. One is the element is going to add to this particular array. And at the same time, it is also written the length of an array. So if you want to print it, you can just uh, specify console.log and foods.push. So this command will do two actions. One is it is adding this element at the end of this array. At the same time, this is returning the length of an array. Now let us execute and see. And uh, now we can see. So these are five is is returning. So currently foods are having four. Now I'm adding this one new element. So it become five. So this is returning five here. This is my output. But I want to print my array to see whether the array is having five elements or not because it is returning five. And it is also added the new element at the end of this array. So I want to see the elements. So how we can do this again, print this complete array like this. So once you print this array, which will give you all the elements. Now let us print this array. Now you can see the array length is five and these are the current elements we have in this array. So this is how we can use push method. So push method can be used to add a new element at the end of this array. And at the same time, which will also return the length of an array. Okay, this is all about push method. Now, there is one more method called shift method. So shift method. Now we'll see how we can use this shift method. So basically what is the use of shift method is, it will remove the first array element and shift all other elements to the lower index. So it removes the first array element and it will shift all other elements to the lower index. So what does that mean is, we'll see practically. So here I'm again redefining this array, foods which contains the four elements. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use shift method. So how do you use shift method again here is, let us take a fruits dot shift, fruits dot shift. And here this particular method will remove the first element in the array and rest of the elements will move to the lower index. That means currently this orange index is one, zero, one, two, three. So the zero element will be removed. Then obviously what happens? 
orange will be become zero, apple become one, mango become two. So the it will move to or it will shift to lower index. So this command will remove the first element. At the same time, it will shift other three elements to the lower index, right? So now let us execute this. So which will also return some value. It will also return some value. So what is the value it will return? So this particular command will remove the element for the first element and it will return the rest of the array. Whatever the elements we have left in the array will be returned. Now we can also print that value. Let's say console.log and foods.shift. Right, so it is again doing two actions. One is it is removing the first element and also it is returning, it is returning rest of the three elements from the array. Now let us execute. So now you can see here. So it is remove uh, it is basically remove the first element. Sorry. So it is removing the first element, and whichever element is removed, and that element is returned here. So this is a output of this command. Shift. Shift means it will remove the first element. And uh, it will also return the removed element. It is also written the removed element. After that, if you want to see the rest of the elements in here, we can print them. So we can simply say console.log. So this is a functionality, console.log. And we can just print fruits here. And then it will print the rest of the elements which are present in my array. Save it and execute. So now we can see previously this is an array. And uh, we have removed the first element by using shift command and it is removed. So it is also written the removed element, which is banana. After that, again, I'm printing the whole array. So which is currently having three elements because banana is already removed. So rest of the three elements are printed here. So this is how we can use shift command or shift method. So similarly, we also have unshift method, unshift. So let's see how we can use unshift, unshift. So the unshift method basically adds a new element to an array at the beginning. So currently we have an array. Shift method, what this will do, it will remove the first element and rest of the elements will be uh, moved to lower index. Now what unshift method will do is, unshift method will do exactly opposite of this. So unshift method will add a new element at the first place in the array and rest of the elements will be moved to the uh, higher index, right? Now we'll see how we can use this unshift. So let me just take the same array again, foods, and here I am doing unshift. So here, uh, let me just uh, remove this for now. Okay, currently three elements I have. So I want to add a new element in this list, uh, in this array at the first place. So for that, I can simply say foods dot foods dot unshift foods dot unshift. And here, whichever value we want to add into the array, we have to specify that. So let me just specify lemon. Okay, so this is a value I'm going to add. So unshift is a method which will add a new element to the array at the beginning. So in the starting point and unshift older elements. So older elements will be moved to the next level. So here this command is adding a new element to the, as a beginning, as the first element, right? So let us also print the output, which is returning uh, by this method, console.log. And uh, let us see what it is returning. And I'm clearing this output and uh, print this. Yes, now we can see that. So currently these are the three elements initially we have. And now I have added this element. So this element is already added to this uh, array. After adding this element to the array, the length of array is returned. So four is the length of an array. So unshift is a method which will add a new element at the beginning of the array. At the same time, it will also return the length of an array. So previously it was only three. Now we have added the new element. So the whole value, the whole method is written four, which is the length of an array. So if you want to print those elements, I can simply print those elements again. So it should display all the elements along with the lemon. Now let us execute now, you can see here. This is a array before that orange apple mango we have. Now, after adding this element at the beginning, it becomes a four. Now we have print the whole array and you can see the lemon is present in the first place. So this is called unshift. So what is the difference between shift and unshift? The shift method will remove the element from the beginning and rest of the element will shift to the lower index. And unshift is a method which will add a new element at the beginning and rest of the elements will be moved to the next level. 
right so these are the differences between shift and unshift so suppose i want to delete element from the array so we have a method called we have a option called delete keyword so we don't have any direct method available but we can use a delete keyword to delete the element from the array so let me show you how we can delete the element from the array so deleting elements from array how to delete element from array so again i'm defining this array uh, which contains the fruits and from this array i want to delete elements so which element we have to delete so that we need to pass an index number so every element in the array which is representing by index number right so to delete the specific element from the uh, from this array i can simply say delete and specify the name of the array and here specify the index number so whichever element you want to delete you can just specify so index will start from 0 this 0 1 2 3 so this is 1 orange i want to delete so specify the orange so that is 1 so this command will delete the element from the array and then let's print the uh, array once again so console dot log console dot log i'm just again printing this fruits now let's see what it is giving so when i run this code now we can see here so this is actual array four elements we have now i am deleting the first element so when i delete the first element it will not go permanently so it is just making empty item but still the place is still there okay it is not it is just a remove that element the value which is removed but the location or the memory which is allocated for that element still remains here so element still same in the place on the same place but whichever element we have deleted based upon the index on that particular place is saying one empty item okay so this is how we can delete the element from the array now we also have concatenate we can also concatenate two or more arrays so or else we can simply say joining or merging of arrays so let's see how we can merge the arrays by using concat so concat is a method by which we can do joining or merging arrays two or more arrays two or more arrays this is a functionality of the concat now here i will define two different arrays let's say let arr1 this is my first array and i will add uh, numbers here so let's say 10 comma 20 so this is my first array i will also define one more array let's say let ar of 2 equal to and here in the bracket i will have another value let's say i'll put a string value or characters let's say a and b and i'll say c so now i have three elements in this array so now i have a two element uh, two arrays one is arr1 and the other one is arr2 two arrays we have now i need to concatenate these two arrays how to concatenate let's say console and uh, the concatenate method we have to use first so to concatenate these two arrays we need to say arr1 dot concat of array 2 arr of 2 so this is how we need to specify so arr of 1 dot arr of 2 so which will concatenate these two arrays or it will perform merging of an arrays right so let's see how it is printing so now we need to print the output console dot log and specify the whole thing in the console dot log statement so now let us execute and see what could be the output yes now this is the last one so this is the output which is written by this statement so what is an output these are these are the first two elements are from arr1 and the last three statements are coming from arr2 so basically this concat is a method by which we can join or merge two different arrays suppose i have one more array then i want to merge three arrays then how we can do that so let me define one more array like this let's say let arr3 and here i will just specify three more characters let's say x comma y comma z so now three elements i have defined so i want to merge arr1 arr2 and arr3 three arrays i want to merge so how we can do this first we will take one array arr1 dot concat concat of here we can specify how many arrays we are going to merge with arr1 so here we can specify arr2 comma arr3 so concat method will take one argument two argument or more arguments 
So we need to pass our array arguments. So ARR one is the first array. With this, we are concatenating with all rest of the arrays. So this particular command will concatenate three arrays. Now let us print those arrays. Let's say console dot log of ARR dot concat of ARR of two, ARR of three, and closes. So now this is performing concatenation or merging merging of three different arrays. Now save it, then execute. So now you can see this is the whole array is written. So first two numbers are from array one, A, B, C are from array two, X, Y, Z are from array two. So this is how we can merge two or three arrays. And we also have one more method called slice. Next method is slice. So slicing because we can just uh, slice some of the elements from the array. So basically, the slice method slices out a piece of an array into a new array. So this method will create a new array. It doesn't remove any element from the source array. So what is slice will do is it will get some portion of the array, some element from the array. So let's see the practically how it is going to work. So here I'm defining uh, one array which contains a uh, five elements. And this time I'll say zero, one, two, three, four. Totally four or uh, five elements, and index will start from zero. This is a zero, one, two, three, four. So this is my array. Now we'll use slice method. We'll see what is the output we are going to get. So here I'm saying fruits dot slice, fruits dot slice. I'm saying one. Index is one. Observe this carefully. So index is one. Now let us print the output of this statement. Let's say console dot log and print the output of this statement. Now let us execute and see. This is an output we are getting. Now let us see. Let's compare this. So this is the actual uh, actual array which contains a uh, four elements, and it is all. It is how many elements? One, two, three, four, five elements we have. So here I'll say slice one. Slice one means let us uh, start from zero. This is a zero element, and this is the first element. So what slice one is doing is it is returning. The rest of the element from the first location, so that means it will create a new array. So this is a new array which is returned, but existing array is still same. It is in, it is source array will not be changed. So slice method is just extracting the elements from the array. It is basically slicing the array. So depends upon the index we pass. From there, rest of the elements will be returned as an array. For example, let me just give one more. So here I am saying. Uh, instead of one, I can simply say two. So now, what is the output here? So it will slicing of two means this is zero, this is one, and this is two. So from lemon onwards, whatever the rest of the values we have, lemon, apple, and mango. By using these three elements, it will create a new array, and that array will be returned. Now let us execute and see, and this is returning this output. So this is the output of this. So slice means It depends upon the index we pass here. From there, it is giving rest of the elements as an array. It is returning rest of the elements as an array. So this is the usage of slice. Now, apart from these, we also have few more methods called sort, which is very very important. Sort method. So basically, this sort method will sort the element from the array. Simple. This method will sort the element from an array. So let us have the same array here again. Now I want to sort these elements. Currently, these elements are not in the sorted order. So, and sorted means if we have provided a string, it will be sorted in alphabetical order. If I provide a number, basically it is sorted in ascending order. So currently I have a strings. So when I apply sort method on this array, which will sort elements in the uh, ascending order, uh, or in we can say alphabetical order because these are all strings. Now uh, we'll see how we can apply sort method on this array. So here I'll say uh, fruits dot fruits dot sort fruits dot sort. Okay, console dot log fruits dot sort. Now what this will return? Let us see console dot log, and I'm saying fruits dot sort. So let's run and see what it is going to return. Clear the output and just print here. Yes. So this is the output we are getting here. So it is basically sorted output: apple, banana, lemon, mango, then orange. So all the values are sorted in alphabetical order. This is the sorting of strings. 
and we can also string or we can also sort numbers so let's create a numbers variable let's say let nums equal to because here for fruits i haven't specified the let keyword because this variable is already created multiple times before so i am directly specifying the variable here but nums is a new variable which is not created earlier so i'm specifying the let keyword so let nums equal to here i will say a few numbers let's say 100 500 and 200 800 and 300 so now these numbers are in random order there is no proper order maintained here right so i want to sort this number so simply say take this variable nums dot nums dot sort so this particular command will sort the elements and if you want to print those elements put the statement in console dot log console dot log of nums dot sort and semicolon and this is a sorting of numbers now when i execute this it will sort all the numbers so this is an output we are getting out of the statement so 100 200 3 5 and 8 so this is the number these are the numbers in sorted order so we can also use sort method for a string type of an array and number type of an array okay now similarly we also have few more method called reverse method reverse method so this is another method so the name itself it says reversing an array so this particular method will change the original array so that's another thing which we need to notice so rest of the methods will not affect the existing array it will just get the data from the arrays but uh, this particular reverse method will change the existing array it will reverse the array basically so let me just uh, what i will do is this is my fruit array right or else uh, okay i have uh, this array which contains some elements so i want to reverse these elements i want to reverse these elements so here it will change the original array also so currently this is the fruits let me print it here console dot log and i'm just printing fruits here okay so here I, i'm also writing some message so array before reversing or we can simply say this is a original array original array elements i'm just concatenating that option okay this is original array now i want to reverse this array i want to reverse it so how we can reverse it simply say fruits dot fruits dot reverse and this particular method will change the existing array okay it will change the existing array original array so now i am just uh, printing again console dot log of so the same array variable i am going to print here but this one here i am changing after reversing after reversing array elements are here i am again printing the same variable so same variable again i am printing here so what is the reverse method will do is the reverse method will reverse the elements in the existing array that means this particular method will change the existing array the source array will be changed so before reversing we will print uh, we have printed here original array element after reversing again we are printing the reverse element now let us execute and see here so let me run this one now yes now we can see here so original array elements so these are the array elements so this is the original array elements right so banana orange lemon apple and mango original elements so after reversing these are the elements so the first statement is returning only elements so this one is returning this elements the second statement will return reverse elements now these are the reverse elements so these are the reverse element you have printed so the reverse is a method by which we can reverse the elements from the array and this method will change the existing array okay so the array structure is changed before that fruits contains these elements after reversing the same variable having a different uh, reverse array so these are all different type of uh, methods available to perform different type of operations on arrays so apart from this there are so many methods are available but these are the list of methods i have collected or consolidated which we are going to use very frequently okay so that's all for this video guys we have discussed about javascript methods which we can apply for arrays in the next video we will see few more topics so thanks for watching guys